Hello, we are introducing to you about in danger of Malayan tapir. What is Malayan tapir? Malayan tapir are the largest of the four species of tapir and are only native to Asia. Malayan tapir or tapiris indices is one of the most iconic animals found in Malaysia. A close relative of the horse and rhinoceros, tapir have poor eyesight but their sense of hearing and smell are finely tuned. If threatened or frightened, they have been known to demonstrate pretty quick bursts of speed. They are also excellent swimmers and will seek refuge from predators in deep water while using their flexible nose as snorkel. Malayan tapir is listed as endangered by the IUCN due to loss of available habitat, fragmentation of remaining habitat, and increasing loss of individuals due to hunting, road kills, and bycatch by snare hunters. It is also endangered due to estimated population decline of more than 50% in the next three generations. One of the biggest problems facing tapis out in the wild is habitat loss. The reason of this problem is the plantation for palm oil industry. This industry affects thousands of flora and fauna and tapir themselves are browser, which means they eat lots of things like trees, plants, seeds and fruits. Moreover, this plantation destroys all the safe place for the tapir to live and their food source. Tapir are vegetarians. They can also defend themselves with a bite from their razor sharp teeth. Their distinctive black and white coat look very smart and also serve as an excellent camouflage. Predators will often mistake a tapir for a large rock when they lie down to sleep. In Malaysia, we have one conservation center for Malayan Tapi. It is called as Sungai Dusun Wildlife Conservation Center at Selangor. It was established at 1964 with an area of 4,330 hectare. One of conservation effort by Sungai Dusun Wildlife Conservation Center is access to breeding of Malayan Tapi. This site, they also rescue for injured and lost tapir that found in Peninsula Malaysia and doing research program with universities. Thus, all conservation effort done by this conservation center help to increase and preserve more Malayan tapir. Besides the in-situ or ex-situ conservation center in Malaysia, several protected areas of forest have been set up too, such as Huai Ke Keng with Life Sanctuary in Thailand and Wei Campus National Park in Sumatra. Way Campus National Park in Sumatra is the protected area that allow Malayan tapir to grow without disturbance and will help to stem population decline from road accident and hunting. As the evidence effort, Indonesia has developed a National Tapir Conservation Action Plan that provides refuge for displaced tapir as well as studying a breeding captive tapirs to become a reference center for Malay tapir breeding. Moreover, in Thailand, Huai Ka King with Life Century thought to be one of the protected areas from Malayan tapir species from become extinction and the population are restricted to centuries and park in the western and southern forests where hunting is a treat regardless of law. <laughs> 